There's just something about horror games that can really get under your skin, whether that's Silent Hill or Resident Evil or even Fatal Frame, they all have the ability to freak you out. Games aren't like the movies, where in the movies you can't necessarily say, don't go in there, even though you know what's exactly going to happen. In games, you are the character and you're very likely to get a little scared while you're in their shoes. Here are our favorites and your favorites from a list of horror games that we just had to show you. We have three top five lists to entertain yourself with this Halloween. And first is the Metacritic top five. <sighs> Coming in at number five, we've got a classic from everybody's favorite purple lunchbox, the GameCube, Eternal Darkness Sanity's Requiem. Sanity's Requiem had a unique structure with characters all through history, but it scored big with fans thanks to its sanity effects. Nothing is scarier than seeing your memory card delete itself. Number four isn't strictly a horror game, but surely zombies count. Even if the game is light on jump scares, or really any other scares, Lee Everett's Adventures in Telltale's first season of The Walking Dead can be a pretty harrowing and stressful experience thanks to the game's rough decisions. Coming in at number three is an even more recent game, and I know the sheer mention of the word clickers can still send some people into spasms. The Last of Us, Naughty Dog's PlayStation 3 swan song seems like just another zombie game at first, but the typical Naughty Dog polish and great writing made it a real contender for the game of the year in 2013. Next up, number two. Some people said it was the beginning of the end for the franchise, while others said it was exactly what it needed. It's Resident Evil 4. It's another classic that began in the big purple box. Resident Evil 4 has definitely paved the way for more action-oriented approaches in 5 and 6, but it was also a great game with some fantastic and memorable moments. The chainsaw? The lake? Anyone? The first time you headshot a zombie? Anyone who's played the game knows exactly what I mean. Ever so narrowly edging out the rest is the modern classic Kevin Levine's Bioshock. It might be overshadowed by its far flashier follow-up these days, Bioshock Infinite, but the first game was nothing like anything else when it was first released. Bioshock also had its fair share of scares, with terrifying splicers showing up right behind you at just the wrong times, and of course, your first encounter with a big daddy is one you won't ever forget. Next up, now that that questionable list is out of the way, the Game Code crew got together and came up with our own list of our favorite horror games. Here they are. Yazid, our producer, listed Resident Evil 3 Nemesis as his favorite right away. Didn't even pause to think about it. Jocelyn says that absolutely nothing can beat the indie horror favorite Slender, the only game that almost gave her a heart attack. Ian prefers the dark corridors and sneaky monsters of Doom 3. Nothing like being forced to choose between holding your gun and holding a flashlight. Colin hasn't even finished System Shock 2 the whole way through, but thinking about the creepy computer showdown makes it really hard for him to even double-click the icon. And finally, my favorite. Silent Hill 2, and if you don't know why it would be my favorite, that just simply means you have not played enough Silent Hill 2. That's enough from us. What about you guys? Here is your top five list submitted to us on both Facebook and Twitter. Joseph W. from Facebook says that the best scary game bar none has to be Doom. He might be talking about Doom 3 like Ian, but the first game in the series was absolutely no slouch. That cyber demon was a nasty surprise. Next up, great minds think alike, Mr. Will Y, as he chooses Silent Hill 2 as his favorite pick. One of the best psychological and atmospheric horrors out there. And you cannot, I repeat, cannot beat Pyramid Head. Literally. Mohammed J suggests Resident Evil 2 as his favorite, which shows just how much influence the series has. But yes, Two is absolutely among the best. Jill M suggested the indie horror game Amnesia The Dark Descent, which has got to be one of the best horror games on the PC. 
Dark rooms, no weapons, limited lantern oil, and sanity that slowly drains whenever a monster appears will surely keep you on your toes. And Xenos NS on Twitter rounds us out with a retro pick, Willow for the NES. Yes, it's based on that Willow, but the game itself is a take on Zelda. What makes it so scary according to Xenos NS? The disembodied skulls that occasionally jump out of the ground, complete with a total shift in the music from cheerful to ever so creepy. So there we are, five games that we like, five games that you like, and five games that apparently everybody in the critical world is absolutely in love with. You should 100% be ready now for your Fright Fest. Go get gaming. Don't go anywhere, guys. After the break, we have part two of our interview with Mr. Maximus Black. You're not going to want to miss it. If you're looking for some competition in your city, here are your local gaming weeklies and monthlies. Drop in to hang out with some like-minded people and maybe even smack them around at your game of choice. 